but it one taps that gnat, so I can't be too upset. So that's a good way to get rid of gnats. Get a nice little angle on them, and arrow them. Other things, not so well. Alright. We are back on Grounded, everybody. The game that everybody loves to see, and nobody loves to play because it's terrifying. But we're playing it anyway. Um, yeah. Hopefully, my voice is a little bit louder than the game this time. I noticed in the last video that it was actually kind of quiet. Um, I also turned down my mic volume a little bit, so that uh, you guys don't hear as much of the background noise. Hopefully, that's not too loud this time either. We'll see. Shouldn't be too crazy, but it might be. Who knows? Get back over Where are you here. Off to, Ed? Bah. 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 All right, I aggroed another ant on accident. Where were you? That one? It might be that one. Nah, he's chilling. Yeah, he's chilling. He's just eating a little piece of piece of whatever. I'm here eating a little piece of whatever as well. Alright. Let's go roast up this gnat, make sure that we're nice and healthy today. I think today I'm going to try to finish this whole house. We're, we're going to build the whole house. As, as much as we can. Uh, but it starts with us getting nice and healthy, and that starts with food. Food first, building later. Isn't that the motto for life? I believe so. Let's go ahead and pull this up. Move it over here. Boy. Nat, I found a really good way to Get kill you. Get out of my airspace! Bro, you best, you best watch yourself. That was horrible. And it only works as a good way to kill them if I can hit them. I, I don't know how I did that earlier. I, I really don't. Because I, I highly doubt that I will... Nah, I, I doubt that I will be able to nail this guy this time. I'm just going to blow out my wall on accident. So I'm going to just leave him. And we're just going to go start chopping. I'm also going to need to... Repair or build another axe here. In just a little bit. That shouldn't be too bad. But we do need to cut down some more weeds. So that is step number one. Chop down the weeds. That's a big old dandelion. Hell yeah. As always, let's keep our eyes peeled for the big spideys. Not a fan of those guys. So if I need to drop up there, I can't really carry it anyway, but I might as well look. Got the, the sap as well. Nah, nothing really. That I can see at least. So we got all of that. Is that a dandelion? No, that's a... Oh, that's a thistle. That thing was right there this whole time, and I could have been using arrows this whole time. <sighs> it's a learning progress. Learning process, I should say. But... We're getting there. We're getting there. That was, it's fine. We know about it now, and we can we can adjust. Build that, build that, and get that going. All right, we need dandelions. Dandelions. There's some over here, so that's good. All right, not this one. I wish I could use a better axe right about now, but. Wait. Shut up, dude. Don't know why he's barking today. My mom's actually here. Unless somebody's at 
at the door, but then the rest of them would be barking too. So I don't get it. He just feels like barking, I guess. Alright. Looks like six seems to be about the average slash max for a dandelion. So we're gonna go ahead and presume that to be the max. And just go about our day. Yeah? Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Sounds like a smart idea. You know? Chop it down, look for the six, move on. If we stumble across more, like if we just happen to see that one drops an extra one or two or something, then we might go back and look, but at this moment, I do believe that to be as accurate as it gets. Uh, let me see where that dandelion is. Oh, there is two. Hell yeah. That saves me the energy of cutting down two individuals, them being right next to each other. I get that side slap action. Just look right in the middle of the two. And bada bing, bada boom. All right. Oh, that's rough. Oh, that's real rough. Okay. One, two, uh, three, four. Jesus. Hiding from us. Oh, there's six. Six. Alright. Run this back over here. Ah, I really wish, really, really wish that I could get not only more in my hand, but I wish that I could just find more dandelions around here, because I feel like this is going to be a lot of adventuring. But then I also wish that I could chop down these things and those other stems because I don't have that upgraded axe. And I have no idea how to get an upgraded axe to even begin doing that. So that kind of sucks. But it looks like this one's yeah, another dandelion, so that's good. Be able to chop that one down here momentarily. I'm already at six and I'm looking around for nothing. Was not keeping track. But we're making very solid progress. Being able to get six out of each one just makes this go very smooth. I'm gonna build that and start building that up as well. I heard something. I don't like hearing things. Alright, we're good there. Though I do need to... because I was hungry. And that was a beautiful shot that time. First try Friday. It's Thursday, but first try Thursday. Friday. Ish. It's Friday in spirit. It's really not. Don't know why I say that. Chow death. Oh. Munching, munching. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm actually just gonna go ahead and recycle one of these walls. open it up for now. We're we're in the process of making a nice new base, so we don't need that. So I don't know where my water is. I don't uh, that sucks. Alright. So we got a dandelion over there. And we've still got this one right over here. So I'm gonna go chop this one. And I think after we chop this one we might need to look at repairing real quick. Chop and chop. I feel like my birds are doing more talking than I am. Yo, is that spider thing right there? I see webs. Why am I? Why is that so close? I feel like I should be so much further away. Is there a spider right over there? There is! I didn't know that. I did not know that. That is.
is cool. Now I know that that is there, and now I can keep my distance as needed. Alright, I've got that one. Now we're just missing the one woven fiber, really. Okay. Okay, okay. We're almost done with the main walls, so that's making me feel very comfortable being right in here, because as soon as I log up that area, that'll be really solid. My biggest fear right now is actually going to be getting to the uh, clay, which, that was if you remember, is guarded by the uh, the big guy, big scary guy. So even though clay should be pretty easy for us to get, it will also be pretty hard for us to get just because of that fact. So, craft up one of these guys and go finish this door over here. And then we can go chop down another couple of dandelions. See two of them over here, so that's perfect. What's happening, Troy? Nice of you to pop on by. Ah, uh, nah, you're actually right on time. 12 minutes in. I should have hit the, the Q Troy button. Would have been perfect. Alright, that thing blew up way over here this time. Oh, God. One, two, three, four. Five, six, perfect. That thing is clipping in and out of that, and that made me very spooked because of how much noise it was. Oh, baby. He is just running into this room to bark. There's no reason to run over here to bark. There really isn't. I don't even know why the heck he's barking. Wait a second. Can I tap it over here and break it? That'd be funny as heck. No, I cannot. I have to actually. So it'll tell me where there's a dandelion if I'm walking around and I just see the dandelion thing pop up. But I still have to find its actual little bits to do anything with it. That's kind of unfortunate. Boom, 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 boom. Alright. Oh, really? How is it going to drop some of them literally in the air? But I'm currently building a castle in Minecraft. I like it. I like it. I love it. Like an actual castle. I don't. I don't know what that means. But okay. I don't. What do you mean by actual castle? Like, is that? Is there fake castles? I'm a little lost. You have confused me. And now I have extra things. So, a little extra weed stems. Let's go. Not like a mini castle, like a real full-sized one. I don't, again, that, is that some Minecraft thing that I'm too grounded to know about? Because I, I have actually no idea what that means in actuality. I think I'm going to have to kill this spider. It's a little too close. It's definitely a little too close. I mean, that was... That was like a very small walk for me to get to. Jesus Christ, I need to go see what the heck these dogs are barking at, though. Oh my god. 
Hold on. Let me get get over to the safe places real quick. See, at least now I've got the walls. And now I'm safe, technically. Ish. I mean, things can still aggro, and I don't have that floor built, so if it can get under, it can kill me. But, either way, I'll be right back. Alright, sorry about that. It is a good reason, and it is a good practice to go check out why your dogs are barking, because it turns out four of my five dogs, the five, four of some other amount of dogs, got out, and one of them stayed behind Poppy. And he's all barking, basically, because all the other dogs are out and he's not. <laughs> Where's the spider at? Come on. There you are. There's one. I know there's two over here this time, isn't there? So if I kill this one, there should still be another one over there. But I feel the need to, at the very least, kill one, maybe kill both. Yeah, there's the other one over there. It's further up that way. So if I hang out over here and just kind of wait for this thing to aggro to me, then I'll be safe from that one while I kill this one. Yes, I'm being very confident today. I don't say if I can kill it, I say when I kill it. Yeah, 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 yeah get over here. Get your butt over here. weapon is really stupid in the fact that, like, it does combos. Sounds good to be me. Yeah. Yeah, I got it, bud. Don't you worry. Now, where did the other one go? Also, I saw the other one. I saw a video. It said you can basically just take these spider webs down. I don't know about these ones in particular, but like spider webs you can take down. All right, where is the other one at now? You're somewhere over here. There you are. I see your little motions. Uh, Alright, I lost you already. And now I don't know where you want. And I probably, like, looked right past it. There it is, okay. Oh, Jesus. Oh, that's a good I, de I don't think I've been hit by that yet. And now I'm dead, because I don't think I've been hit by that little, like, uh, web shooty thing yet. And that did a lot of damage, actually. I look down and I'm like instantly already dead. I don't know, he used a pebble for it, but it was a different type of web. Like it was one that was like kind of like blocking an entrance. So it was a little bit more like actual web. This seems very distorted web, you know? Like it's, it doesn't seem right. It's not, like you would never actually see a web like this. That's not a web, like that's, that, was put in by the game designer to like just kind of do something i don't really know what maybe it alerts them or something but i don't know it was just a completely different type of web though so i will say that 
And let me get over here so that hopefully it doesn't aggro so I can put my armor back on. Equip that, equip that, equip that. Uh, equip that, and where's my booties? There's the booties. All right, full armor again. Where'd he go? There he is. Yeah, there he is. All right. So yeah, that was pretty trippy. I don't think I've been hit by that yet. a lot of slam. That's something that I'm not too fond of with this weapon. I hope if I sleep, it doesn't reset my killing progress with these guys, because that would really suck, because I'm about to have to go sleep. Not really have to, but I've only got an hour in game before it's sleepable time. And I really hope that when I go to sleep... Whoa, 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 something's aggroed. Oh, whoa, whoa, homeboy. Chill, what is that? Was that a mite? I think it might have just been a mite. Oh, yeah, there's, there's mites over here. Okay. Oh, wait. Mites still take, like, two or three arrows, which is really weird, because... Gnats only take one arrow, but... Like, everything else that I see seem to come across takes, like, four or five... Whoa. Uh, oh, 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 these mites look so funny though, dude, where, okay, there you are, look like little lobsters running around, alright, uh, let's get back over to the base, I like that I'm learning the area a lot better, and I'm able to actually, like, run from point A to point B pretty efficiently now. But my least favorite thing is still just the fact that, you know, this map has so much that I don't know about. Yeah. Yeah, I, I want a survival game that does that, but then you are forced to actually, like, live through the night. And if you want anything that's, like, nighttime specific, like, say there's night crawlers or something that, like, only come out at night and, like, there's certain beetles or something that come out only in the day, you have to adjust your time schedule just to be able to go get it. And I like that idea. I really do. But it definitely limits your potential, you know? So in a gaming sense, it's not very optimal. But... In a awesomeness sense, it is 100% optimal because that is the coolest thing that any gaming company could do, and it really does suck that they don't. I'm just kind of waiting until the 20. There we go. The 20th hour mark, so that I can go to sleep real quick, because I want to see. I can't be the only one feeling tired. I mean, I, mostly I just want to, you know, avoid the. Uh, what's it called? The big spiders, but like I also want to avoid some of the little spiders as well. Uh, I'll put. Yeah, that's fine. I don't know why my my computer's doing some weird stuff. All right. Yeah, exactly, and I mean, the best thing about that style would be that you can't just sleep through the night, like in this game, but that would bring its own troubles along with it, you know, because I mean, I'll be honest, I would not particularly enjoy staying up through the whole night, at least not right now because of my terrifying spear of this. Terrifying spear, yes. Terrifying fear of the wolf spider, right? If I didn't have that hindering me, then it wouldn't matter too much. But, at least for me in this game, where it is entirely, like, fear-based and, like, timing-based, 
because like I mean I, I obviously only really don't want to go out at nighttime when I know that there's a big potential of running into that thing I also don't like coming over to this pond because I've seen that wolf spider specifically coming over to this big guy right here so it's a little hit or miss but Pretty solid amount of clay out of that. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick little scan of the area. Okay, looks like we are solid enough to hit this one until it breaks. And then look around again. I just, I really do not want to... Damn, will you let me get that clay piece? No. Is my inventory full? It is full. Oof. Uh, manage trash. Okay. That'll at least allow me ten more. Which should be just one more clinker. Which I'm gonna go for this one, I think, because I don't like... The last time, the wolf spider came right across that frog, so I definitely don't like being there. That's a nice little flower. So I'm gonna try to be over on this side, so to see if it's safer. I mean, I see that there's a spider right up there doing some funny business, but that's not that bad. I'm not picky. Because I can see that. And I can see that it's over that way. I just heard something over this way. I don't like it. But that's fine. We're fine. We're fine. Yeah. Don't worry about it. We're fine. I 100% I agree, Troy. They do need to make a game like that. That completely mimics real time zones. And like your real actual playtime. However, it would be kind of difficult to mirror that across the zones because of you know right now it's already 630 for you 6 648 you know so it'd be kind of hard for it to be 648 for you and 348 for me in the same game you know especially if it's like a big open world game like say just for instance Neverwinter or World of Warcraft or something they wouldn't really be able to do that all too well I really like those windows. I'm not too sure if I can put like an actual window in there. Tastes good. Because that would be really nice. But like, I know for now, the window itself looks nice. So I cannot do that. Alright, for there, let's just go ahead and get this area over here built up first. And let's. So we've got a nice little area in here. God, that's going to take so much clay. I'm just now thinking about that. That's so much. I don't know. I think I should probably go progress the storyline. I don't know if you're actually supposed to particularly build a base. But, I mean, it should be fine. What, you weren't paying attention last time? I learned all the clay stuff, because I, I went and scanned clay. And it was, it made it so that I can outline, or, uh, yeah, outline this base, like, do the blueprint thing. And then right here is going to be my backyard, so I will be tearing down this wall, building up a new wall, and then probably leaving those two spots and this spot but it's going to be completely different. Mm. 
Need to eat you, Nat. I'm sorry. My my character's getting hungry. Yeah, I mean, that's something that's kind of interesting about this game, is that there is some sort of story. I'm not sure if you're actually able to get to where you're, like, big again. But at least having some sort of objectives definitely makes this a survival RPG hybrid. And that's really cool to me. I can't say that it's, like, amazing. Because, I mean, it's scarier than I would personally like. I mean... Don't get me wrong, right? Minecraft, a game that's seemingly similar in the sense that it's a survival game that you get to build a base and whatnot. And, you know, it's more dangerous at night because more monsters spawn. But even in that game, the minimal jump scares are still nice. They're not crazy. You know, you, you turn around a corner and there's a creeper, your heart skips a beat. You might let out a small shriek, but you kind of run away real quick and it stops and that's kind of the end of it and you finish it real quick with either bow and arrow or some sort of weapon of choice because you know minecraft's solid like that and then boom you know that's like that that's it you know just, just like you said it's just a creeper right like that's you're not gonna be jumping in your skin from a spider you're not gonna have nightmares what have you. And so in my opinion, even though this game is great, I would rather play Minecraft in the survival sense. I'm playing this one mostly for the objective sense and the scare factor, which is terrifying. To me at least, it's, it's not terrifying to everybody, I get that. But for me, it is big scare. Ah, that's right, the gnat that I killed earlier. And did not just eat. like a fruit pounder just right just like a fruit pounder he says I have to disagree with you on that one I probably think it tastes nothing like a fruit pounder I'll be honest though I haven't tried it so I can't say that it's not but I don't also really particularly know what a fruit pounder is so yeah also kind of rambling See if it distracts me from the fact that there may be spiders lurking. And I stopped rambling because I said that I was rambling. And now the spider thoughts are scaring me again. So I'm going to keep talking. And let's see. Also, Troy, real quick, how's the audio sounding? Since you're actually able to hear it, you're able to deal with it, kind of, sort of, deal with it. You're able to at least tell me to fix it. It sounds awful. Man, there's so much clay in this area. I like it. Terrifying because I know what's in this area. But I like that there's a fairly solid place to get all the clay that you need. It makes me happy. It makes things easy. You know, I've had this happen in games like Ark. Where you're running along and then something spawns in right on top of you. And I hope to God that this game does not do that. Because if I'm running along into an area that I know has a spider, but I already killed it, like right over there for instance, if I'm running across that and literally out of fucking nowhere, a spider spawns in and drops on my forehead, I will scream and I will uninstall this game because I will not like that probably won't uninstall right away, but it will cross my mind more than once. Uh, Troy, stop. You know, I keep forgetting. I actually need to finish this side's things. I, I need to finish those two so that I can get up on this side, and then I'll be happy. And then I should probably go around the outside before I finish going around on the inside. So finish this row. No. Um, so yeah. Sounds pretty good, actually. Pretty balanced right now. Wouldn't change anything personally. Perfect. Perfect. I love it. And that was 
big noises over here. What the heck? Heard rumblies. Um, like rocks crumbling, rumblies. What was I? I lost my train of thought because of that sound. God dang it, game. Uh, yeah, I will definitely be figuring out how to make this a compilation of jump scares and stuff. Because, yeah. I mean, even just minimal scares of, like, seeing one and running away. I mean, that one, the first time that I saw that wolf spider over here, it didn't creep up on me or anything. I saw it from a pretty good distance. And it scared me then. And I ran away. So it doesn't need to be, like, crazy jump scares or anything, either. Like, it, it's just grounded scares compilation. Just any grounded scares compilation. Alright. Boom, 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 boom. Not slurpees. Clay. I hate walking around in the water and whatnot because my footsteps alone are humongously loud. They're just... Like, listen to this. Uh... No, I don't like it. Makes me think something's right behind me. Dislikes. Much dislikes. Okay, let's go across here. What was that? Weevil? Liza? Something? I don't know. for me to at least build some of that up. So come across here, jump over this way, get my bearing back. There's the soda can, there's the shelter. I kind of wish that you could just go to these shelters and sleep or something, you know? Because that would be nice. Provide like a nice little natural thing for you. I actually thought that that's what they would do, but turns out you gotta build your own freaking little nappy time area. Yes, little weevil. Do the little bird. All right. Let's build one, two, one, two, and then. And then these four because I need to build the outside first. Alright, we're getting there. We are getting there. I need to figure out a roof design as well, but uh, that'll be in a little bit, obviously. I think I need to figure out something else to do while that clay respawns, though, because I think I'm pretty much out of clay over there. I'm gonna take a look over this way real quick, see if there's like clay right down here in this, because that'd be nice. Oh, yes, yes, there's clay. Okay, rise up, refill my O2 meter, and dip down. I'm very glad that I adjusted that um, button layout. Oh, look at that. Why is, why is that guy here? Oh, and a pebble is down there. Just floating. That's kind of Get out of my airspace! Okay, was th there's a gnat under the water. Irritating. Wow. Gnats are so annoying, they will follow you underwater, where their wings cannot physically propel them. Or at least, I don't think they can. I think that's how gnats work, right? Boom, boom. Alright. Oh, wow, I can still walk right through this one until it's completed. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's, it's definitely trippy. I, I'm not sure why gnats can follow you under like that, but that's, that's not my uh, expertise, I should say. I would not know a gnat's anatomy to say that it physically cannot, but I would really think that it can't. 
Yeah, like, I would not think that any bug with wings, per se, should just be able to casually go into water like that. That, that seems very strange to me. So, I was watching a video today, right? And it was by H2O Delirious, right? It was a grounded thing. He went to the end of that rake, right? All the way up to that rake. There's some beetles on that rock up there. That wasn't the crazy part. But when he went to go back to it, somewhere in this area, I don't know where, he stumbled across basically the wolf spider galore. Now I know. Not to go anywhere over there. Because wolf spider galore. And that would explain why at that station a wolf spider came running out from over there at me. And why briefly afterwards I saw it go back over this way. Toward this guy. So between the areas over here and the areas up over here very very scary and not wanting to be over there because of big nasty scaries also there's a lot of little ants right here i think they found something to munch on it. i think that's still the uh rotten meat or something like that which i, I don't know why they like so much but is that clay right there i think that was clay right there Look at me go, dude. I got the eyes of a ninja. Something I think that might contribute to that would be them just panicking and trying to get out of there as fast as possible. Yeah, probably. I mean, especially if they just drop into the water out of nowhere. I would definitely be panicking. If I was a flying little bug, oh yeah. I'd be all over the place. If I get wet, ah, run away. Oh, yeah. Every time. Zero hesitation. Yeah, I'm so fast with these little booties. I love it. So much faster than I used to be. You can tell. You can feel the difference. I am speed. Lightning McQueen. Oh, wait. that. Why did I only get five from that? What? A little confused. Only a little. Ooh. I I think I can I wanna dang it. I don't think I can. Uh, I wanna see if I can find another bitty over there, because that might be useful. I think it's actually closer to just have gone this way to it. That little puddle that's right here. Okay, clay broke here. Was there really only five out of that one? only five out of that. That makes me kind of sad. A little sad. Also, some car just drove by and the loud burr 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 just actually spooked me. It, it actually... Oh, uh, God. This game makes me very easy to scare. And it's not normal. I don't like it. It makes me very uneasy. Hello there, dirty wings. How's it going, bud? Gonna have to deal with that. Um, yeah, look at you. You're spreading my name around. Getting me nice and famous. All your friends coming in, all my friends coming in. All in one nice, big, happy party family thing. Uh, I can't deposit that. Uh, I can deposit that. I can deposit that. I can deposit some of those. Not all of them. Uh, so limited by the space of these containers. Kind of sucks. Uh, I need to keep some
some of the sap on me to make the new torch once this one... No, not new torch. What do I need for that? Oh, I just need one of the metal bits. One of the metal bits. There we go. So that I can repair that. Because that was a bad brick. I don't know if... No, yeah, you can repair it once it's broken. As long as it's an actual tool. For some reason, the torches can't be repaired, which I think is just really bizarre. What the? Why? Why is there a grass plank just chilling up here? Ah, dang it. Uh, yeah. Get back in my yard. Yeah, you better fly away. Smack you with my shovel. It's so annoying that literally everything except for the freaking hatchet and like above is multiple shots. And then for some reason, the arrow is a one shot. Like, what? Like, almost everything else, it's like you gotta absolutely smack the heck out of those things and really work for the kill and then the bow and arrow you're just like yeah I'm a, I'm a really good shot boom you're dead hi bubba alright I think I'm gonna start sleeping right here so let's go ahead and get to the craftables um a lean to Get that thing crafted up right in the corner. Uh, we're gonna go a little bit in so that if I need to build that wall, it doesn't say no, you can't for unknown reasons. So, but I do plan on replacing that with a better wall. Am I wearing that cologne or something? Oh, wait a minute. Hey, we got some water still. It's no lemon crime, but better than nothing. No lemon crime. I don't know what that is, though. What is lemon crime? I know you were asking about that yesterday, maybe the day before Troy, but yeah. <laughs> the game itself is called Grounded, but. <laughs> Hey, I may be old enough to not be able to be grounded per normal standards, but I, I'm still living under my mom's roof. If she decided to ground me, I would still be grounded, technically. It'd be very, very strange, I will say that, though. Yeah. Probably the weirdest thing that could ever happen yeah. would be being grounded at yeah. this age. Yeah. You know, if I ever have kids, I want to see what their reaction to that would be, if the, especially if they're living at home still. Because I think that would be really funny, actually. Just ground your older kids just because they're living at home. Like, that'd be... <laughs> yeah, no, like, take your phone, take anything. Like, that'd be, that'd be the ultimate troll and just be hilarious. For literally no reason, either. Like, it'd just be funny. They, they upset you in the slightest, and boom, they're grounded. Like, that'd just be... I, <laughs> uh, that'd be funny as hell. Alright. Um, let, let's figure out a roof situation. Um, so, crafting base buildings. We've got triangle walls for obviously being a triangular wall. That that made sense. We've got the roofs and triangle scaffolding. A sturdy structure made from weed stem logs. Okay. Roofs are only able to do that. There's no floor though, so I don't think I can do like a double decker. Yeah, I want to end this stream actually a little bit early today, so I'm going to 
get this roof down, get some solid bits going. Roof thatched, corner roof thatched. Yeah, I don't know what the difference of these things is. Roof. Especially with like a square building, I don't know what I would do with these, so. I think if I do hmm I'm confused cuz like okay so if I do this right I can easily just place that there and then place that there right now what do I do for that middle piece cuz I mean could do like a windowed wall maybe because now like the regular roof I can just you know tag there and then tag there but now what the heck do I do for that bit there do I just leave that open how does this how is this gonna work still don't know what's gonna have to happen to that top bit. I mean, this part's gonna be easy as can be because that's just gonna be roofs all the way across on this side, which is gonna be really, oop. This part's gonna be super simple, right? Because then just turn that around and boom. Just walk it back, you know? But then right here is where it's gonna get really complicated because. seen any normal flat roofs and I don't think I can put these up there or anything like that so I don't know like yeah no I can't put that up there though that would honestly look goofy as hell anyway but still I can't put that up there and then roofs are just slanted so I don't I'm not sure what scaffolding no definitely not the scaffolding either definitely not scaffolding I don't think I can. No, I can't, like, do that. Maybe I just have to do corners. Like, maybe I have to slap that in half, kind of. Although, unfortunately, I'm using this to sleep. I don't know. Maybe that's just how I have to do the roof. Like, either only do two tall, or only do two wide buildings. Like, just you know, chop this and bring it in. I could do that and just have a very tunneled building, or I could even kick it out one. Though, then I would have to rebuild those. That's easy, though, now that I'm a spider slayer. I can easily relocate this. Tastes and just good. move it out one extra. You know, build, a, build it a four wide instead, so that it could just go really tall, have really tall vaulted ceilings. Either I shrink it down or bring it up, but I don't think I can make it work with corner roofs. I mean, I could easily do this right there, and then do this opposite of it, like that, 
but then I don't have a way to connect it up further, you know? I don't have a way to connect that to this, so that'd be very, very unreasonable. So I think what I'll I think what I'll do is just shrink it down actually. Just do too wide. Cause that that seems the quickest and easiest. Recycle that guy. And it'll probably yield me enough to actually maybe even complete it. If I'm gonna be honest. It might be enough to just flat complete the house. I don't know how much clay I get out of that. Oh, I only get half the clay. Oof. Well, that's fine. Because that's still a fair bit. Uh, let me un see that over there. Bop. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think that'll be fine. And then let me go ahead and recycle these walls now. So that I can go ahead and move the grass out of the way first of all because you know i don't want a crazy amount of grass just chilling move the weed stems over to this side because that's where they're going to be used whoops and then no grass planks before you start building game. Grass plank. No. Stop it. Give me the grass plank. Give grass plank now. Give me. God dang it game. Give me the grass plank. Thank you. <laughs> oh, there's another one. And having all this grass plank will make it very easy for me to build the roof, so that's nice. Uh, yeah. Oh, ah, ah. Okay. Okay. We're getting there. We're getting there. Uh, I need to build the walls. And another door. So... You know, actually, now that I've now that I'm able to see where it's able to go and everything, I'm gonna put it right in here, right to the back door. So I'll have side door, <gasps> front door, and backyard. That'll be dope. Overall, at least. bits. Go boop and then over this side and do the boop and then the boop and then do the rest of the roofs on this side. Go boop 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 and boop. Alright, there we go. So we need a bunch of clover leaves which is gonna kind of be challenging. I don't have a lot of them, and that's the only reason why. I actually thought that the roofs would be grass planks. But the only thing that's grass planks is those corner bits. So, we can go ahead and do those corner bits real quick, because those are quick and easy. And then we will give ourselves the doorway access over here and start closing it off inward this way. Hopefully build this back up real quick. So that it's we've still got the backyard access. But we uh we stop the ability to get in over here for many predators and stuff. So that's good there. Now we just need to 
get this part built right here. Uh, two sprigs, and then let's go ahead and craft up the... How many does I need? Four? Okay. Four done there. Craft up those four, and then two more weed stems that I don't have. Unfortunate. Okay. And then roofing is all weed stems and clovers, so that kind of sucks. And then I need to break down this grass so that it gets out of here. Oh, that spiraled. That was trippy. That was really dope. Alright, and then I also need to craft up that uh, lean to, which now that I'm kind of in a smaller building, not exactly sure where I want to sleep. I think I'm just going to go ahead and place that there and deal with it later. That, that actually works. Come right in, boom, we'll put the uh, cooker thing right there, I think. That seems like a good idea. Basically keep it similar to how we have it over there. Now we just need three grind grind jazz junks. What the fuck am I saying? God dang. My brain hurts now. I don't even know what I was trying to say there. Holy crap holies. Oh my goodness. I know what I was trying to say, at least, but Jesus, they did not come out right to me. Okay, sprigs done, booms done, alright. I think I had a bunch of clover leaves. I've got a couple still, but I felt like I had a lot more. I've got these guys, these slime mold stocks that I can build into something. I don't remember what. Oh, Jesus, dog. Jesus criminy. Alright. So we got that built. Got that built. Uh, we don't. We need acorn shells for that. We need stems for that. And then we just need the. How many is that? Four times. Oh, that is so many clovers. Holy Jesus. Alright. Uh, four times. What? One, two. Let me count this side. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, I think. I'll double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, seven. Four times seven, twenty-eight, and then twenty-eight times two. That's fifty-six, I think. Quick maths. Fifty-six, I do believe. If my math is wrong, I am sure I will hear all about it. But that's fine. It's no women crime, but it's better than nothing. Uh, food. Oh, uh. mm, no, no, food. Alright. Let's see. Where are we at? Hour and four minutes. Alright. Uh, These dandelions aren't growing back too quickly, so that kind of sucks because that means that I'm gonna run out of them eventually. Those ones grew back, so that was nice. And those ones grew back eventually. I don't know when either, but. They grew back, so that's nice. There you are, Nat. Sprig, and let's go chop down this one over here. Dandy Ryan. Finish up a little bit of the base. What is that? Is that an acorn? I don't know what that is. I think it looks really nice. Go investigate. After I break this down, I can come back for the bits and pieces. Did it really just break that way? That's trippy. Okay. What is that? There better not be anything over here. I will. Yo, what? 
Oh, that's dope. Snail shell. Let's go. Let's go. That's dope. I like it. I love it. Grab these six pieces here. And run them inside. I like that our base is just right there. Nice and easy to get to now. Uh, I think we need them on this door still. Yeah. So get that door going. And then get those two going. And then now we've got the six on each side left. So that's easy. So, only need 12 more, which will be only two more dandelions, and then we are done with the weed stems in the building of this little mini house, at least. So that's nice. That'll be super cool, super awesome, super fresh. But, I, I just, I really want to go, and uh, I'm really craving some smite right now, so I'm going to break this clover down. And log out. Uh, the while I'm chopping these, I'll explain next stream. Uh, the next stream, what we're going to do is actually make some progress toward the story. Already mapped that out a little bit, so that'll be nice. So if you guys want to actually see the story part of this, stay tuned for the next episode stream, whatever it is, that you end up stopping by for. Uh, other than that, though, I think we might finish the base next time, and that will be very nice. I love the shade that's given right here. I will definitely need to get lights if I plan on doing this at night, but... I like the shade that it gives during the day. It makes it very, very nice to... Mm, look at that. Love it. Uh, anyway, I will be back on... What is this? Tuesday to play this game. So that will be Tuesday, 3.30, 3.15, wherever it is. I don't... I'm not really sticking to that one all too well. The only thing I am sticking to, it's actually quieter in this menu, so I will stay there. Um... The only thing I'm sticking to is Tuesday. Timing, not sure. 3 to 3.30 is when it's going to start. Hopefully, unless something comes up and I have to delay it. But I don't think that'll be the case. Odds are I'll start early before I start late. So, Tuesday, 3.30-ish. Be there or be square. And then this video should be live on YouTube, this current one, on... Was that Saturday? Yeah. Yeah, should be live on Saturday. So, uh, yeah. You guys have a good one, and I will catch you next time. Peace.